okay so hey guys today you know say how to play with atari games with kiras rl um initially install the kiras rl function particular function will automatically upgrade the tensor force so best to visualize it using your uh, uh, local jupyter so if visualization is not your priority you can go with colab okay you can use the same stuff uh initially i'm importing all the necessary libraries if you face any particular error in kiras uh, input layer or kiras layer or uh, tensorflow dot contrib just remove tensorflow dot or just go with particular code okay most probably the error might rise from this particular function okay uh, windows length and input shape i will explain what is that stuff so unlike other environments we have to do a little pre processing for atari environments okay okay so here i'm creating a function this particular class will have three functions okay this particular initial function is going to take the in observation information from the environment and we're going to form a image resize into our input shape and we're going to convert into namp array okay this particular fun this particular image will be fed into a uh, neural network for processing then uh, after taking the image as the input from the environment we're going to normalize it after normalizing it we're going to do a reward clipping so what actually reward clip enhances the agent okay so we're going to train the agent not to play with the actual score model okay we don't want to make the agent not to uh, adapt to the actual score model okay by giving a clip reward i'm telling that you want to get uh, two rewards minus 1 and plus for positive and negative so the model will be trained which can be adapted for any games i mean any environment okay that is a main function for uh, clipping the reward so here i'm importing the environment and taking the num number of actions can be taken here you want to use the same model okay so images from the environment has been passed through the conversion layer it going to train and uh, get the features it's going to select what could be the uh, possible action can be taken so premute layer it's going to change the dimensions as we needed okay that's a particular function of this layer thing is uh, here we missed pooling layer right so by by not implementing the a uh, pooling layer we going to give we going to give more spatial information to the model so to check to understand more uh, more about that stuff check out the medium block below so you'll understand with the images what i'm saying okay that's the reason we are uh, not using the pooling layers so model is done so number of actions can be taken as 6 now okay so we're going to use a sequential memory to store the experiences uh, past experience which the model has been done okay so this is a huge environment right like it has to explore um this particular uh, policy we implemented to solve the exploitation and exploration problem to implement to make the model explore the environment uh, and to say that okay don't always rely on the q value so here and there just make a random action okay so random action we are just introducing introducing some randomness into the environment so which makes the agent to explore the environment okay so that exploration depends on the epsilon value so these are the two parameters that makes the epsilon value ranges okay so between 1 to i mean sorry 0.1 to 1 okay this is the probability saying that agent to make a random action in this particular probability so here we want to initialize the dqn agent with the policy memory and the model once it's been done so we going to compile the model then we going to execute it okay so okay here the environment is running so there are many atari environments available just 
check uh, Jim Atari through the Google. It will take you a GitHub repo so you can play with all the environment. Make sure that you learn about the exploration and exploitation part. So you can check that in, uh, in the medium blog. Play with the epsilon value. Then make the environment balance between the exploration and exploitation. Okay. Then try with the learning data also. Like, uh, play with all the available parameters to make just to make your model so optimal and your agent which can adapt to any environment okay thank you